We're here at Harlando High School with Coach Castro. She led the Harlando Indian soccer team to a 20-0 record overall and 16-0 in district play and back-to-back -back district championship. So Coach Castro, I got to ask you, how does it feel to be back-to-back -back district champions? It feels really good. Um, it's one of those seasons that we don't always get and we were very fortunate that we worked hard enough in the off-season and full season to be able to achieve that. Mm -hmm. You outscored opponents 110 to 2. As a coach, what's more impressive, the 110 goals or holding opponents to two goals all Actually season? Actually both. Yeah. Um, being defensive and being able to control that ball on the defensive side has helped our fence offense. Mm -hmm. uh, offense has done a tremendous job of spreading the ball, uh, getting everybody involved with the game, and scoring is just like an icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. So going back to, to last season, 39-0-1 oh, <laughs> and one, yes. uh, over the past two seasons, you know, what has that meant for you as a coach and this program here at Harlando High School? They have really stepped up and done a tremendous job of, again, in the off season, during the season, to leave a big legacy for Harlando High School. I believe that this team has been most decorative on just winning back-to-back -back titles, uh, having two goals scored this year and winning back-to-back, -back, and mm -hmm. really going 0-1 last year and then 20-0. and That was really a tremendous effort. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of our big goals as a team. You know, you have, a, you have a good mix of senior leaders, then you have someone like Ingrid Garcia. You know, what has that meant for you to have that mixture of someone like Ingrid and then you have Ariel and Juanita on the defensive end? Um, I've always told my young kids, um, you know, learn from your leaders because mm -hmm. one day you're going to have to step up and be that leader that people count. And our seniors have done a tremendous job to be leaders, and we're hoping that that carries on to our young kids. Mm -hmm. Ingrid, she's just a sophomore, or uh, Jasmine, our other scorer, she's just a sophomore mm -hmm. with everyone else. And hopefully when it's their time to lead, they're going to be ready to go just like mm -hmm. our seniors that are leaving us this year. You know, there's a, there's a saying, defense wins championships. Do you constantly remind your team, or how does your defense respond to, to only giving up two goals all season long? We are on them constantly, <laughs> and when you're mm -hmm. playing against the best forwards in our district, it really puts it on our, on our defense. Mm -hmm. And again, everything starts at practice. You know, the competitiveness in your best game should be at practice, and that's helped our defense to be able to be and maybe not give up so many goals within the season. And over your years here at Harlando High School, how has the competitiveness at practice been different this year than previous seasons? You know, we've been very fortunate to be able to compete and, and, and make playoffs and, and work hard. And just, you know, this last couple of years, bringing in Ingrid and all the other young ladies mm -hmm. have really st stepped it up a notch. Mm -hmm. And again, they help us defensively because we're having to go against them every day at practice or in the off season. So it's really been a tremendous yeah. uh, time with them. This past season, you collected your 150th ca career win. When you began your coaching career, did you ever imagine you would win 150 games, especially this soon in your career? No. <laughs> you start off, you know, trying to make playoffs. And mm -hmm. like everything, uh, having a season like last year is one of those seasons that are very special. We don't always get to have that. And then to have it back to back, it makes it's really a great feeling as a coach in knowing that the kids have bought into your system mm -hmm. to work hard and, you know, give it your all and never give up. And that shows on the field a lot. And I'm sure you get this question every year, but. What, how special is this team compared to teams in the past? They're 20-0. and 0. <laughs> Again, uh, even last year, it was a special team. I feel every team is a special team for me. Mm -hmm. um, and they learn and they grow and they become leaders and they help mold the younger generation to help be where we're at this year. It wouldn't be without our other soccer teams. We would not be here without them setting that standard. Going into Thursday's matchup, you know, you take on Lockhart, 5 o'clock in New Braunfels. What are the emotions going through your team and, and yourself? You know, I told them uh, it's a playoffs. You're facing tough teams, and it don't matter if they're in fourth, second, third, or first. Mm -hmm. It's an even all. We all zero zero in the playoffs, and if they have to work hard enough, they have to make sure they leave it on the field. They gotta play 80 minutes, and they gotta attack. And like I said, they're not gonna give up. They're gonna fight, and we have to fight to the end. And mm -hmm. we work, we got work them, we got hustle them. Then hopefully we're able to come out with that win. Definitely. Anything you want to tell the fans of Harlandale? <laughs> yes, come out and support us. We play Thursday at 5 against Lockhart. And come watch our soccer team. They've done really a really great job of working hard and putting themselves in a good situation. So come out and join us. With us is Juanita Rodriguez, Ariel Casas, and Ingrid Garcia. Thank you guys for being oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> that was ugly. Yeah. <laughs> so that. Ariel, uh, you're a senior here at Harlandale High School. You're back-to-back -back district champions over the four, past four years. You know, how does it feel to end your, end your high school career as a district champion? 
it's kind of sad and and it's, I'm happy at the same time, but I'm sad that I'm leaving. <laughs> I still feel like I have a lot more to go, but I don't. But getting the back-to-back -back district titles was great. I mean, like we ended, I'm ending my career with on a good term. And just knowing the fact that I got my titles and that was my plan throughout the four years, I'm just like, I want a district title and we got it these past two years. How does it feel to go your senior year 20 and 0, you know, and 16 and 0 in district play? It's amazing. It's it's crazy how that happened, but we worked really hard these past two years to do it. So we just work and work and work during practice, and it's helped. And you can tell it's helped 20 and 0. All right, so seniors, tell me about your coach, uh, Coach Castro. She she achieved her 150th career win this past, this past season. You know what has she meant to this program, and what has she meant to you guys? She's meant a lot to. Well, me, being under her for four years is a lot. She's pushed me to do better, and she knows my limit, and she knows what I can go through. So she pushes me and pushes me, and it's great knowing that I have someone there to push me that hard and for me to do better. How about you, Anita? What has Coach Castro meant to you these past four seasons? She's just a great coach, you know. She's there for you off and on the field. Thursday night, you guys <sighs> travel to New Braunfels to take on the off-cart at 5 o'clock. You know, what are some of the emotions going through the team this week to prepare uh, for Thursday's playoff matchup? It's crazy. It's just we're going through everything. We're trying to prepare ourselves mentally and physically for that. And we're just going to practice as hard as we can to know that we can get that win that Thursday. And we're just going to try to go farther into the playoffs because last year we went to the second round. We didn't quite make it, but hey, we're trying to go to the third. So let's do what we got to do. <laughs> What about you, Wendy? <laughs> you know, what are some of the emotions going through your mind this week going into uh, Thursday's playoff matchup? Well, a little bit afraid, but then at the same time, very confident because of my team, you know? Having Ingrid and Jazz there and our, our I'm right <laughs> and here. Ariel, of course. Um, but yeah, I feel very confident with my team. I, I believe we could make it, make it far, but that's if we really want it. That's yeah. if we really pushed ourselves. Yeah. If we work as a team, we can do it. I know we can. What has made this this season so special for you guys? Perfect record. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect record finally and back to back district titles. Best feeling ever. <laughs> <coughs> just and just being able to like make new friends in the soccer team over the past four years and you know, we have really grown together. Yeah. Yeah. We see people come and go and we have a little family. <laughs> Anything you no want to say to your fans? I want to say, come on, support us Thursday at five in New Braunfels High School against Lockhart. Come support us. Go, Go Indians! Indians. <laughs>